Once again, this is Puff from thetechover.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new iPhone. Now if you're an Apple fanboy, you're waiting patiently for the iPhone 5. Well, Apple's got a special treat for you. They give you the iPhone 4S. S stands for the iPhone Steal Your Money Edition because this is really pretty much the same thing as the iPhone 4. There's a few improvements. It has a better camera. It has Siri, which is really just a serious waste of your battery. It has slightly better insides, but overall, the design is not going to fool you. It is really pretty much the same phone as the iPhone 4. Now you may be surprised to hear that I thought the iPhone 4 was actually a pretty good device and the iPhone 4S retains a lot of those positive elements. It has a great touch screen and the design is really nice. I like how it's metallic, the glass screen in front. It's a very nice looking phone. Talking about the new features of the iPhone 4S, we went from having a single core processor to a dual core processor. Oh my god! What does that mean for you? Not much. It's slightly faster, but it also means that the battery life is really not as good as it was in the iPhone 4. You have a better camera, you went from having a 5 megapixel camera to an 8 megapixel camera. So you're going to have nicer pictures, and it takes 1080p video, which is nice, I guess, if you want to take video on your phone. And you have the, the big new feature is really Siri. I got to try it out, and I got to say, Siri's pretty cool, it's surprisingly responsive. There's a few things you can do with it. You can have it keep notes for you, you can say for example, wake me up in an hour and it'll set an alarm for you. You can ask it just general questions like what's the population of Turkmenistan and it'll look it up on the internet for you. And then you can do conventional things like uh, text Vince to make me a sandwich and it'll text Vince to make me a sandwich and then Vince better make me a sandwich. Unfortunately though, if you're not in the United States, you don't get location based services. So if you ask like what's the nearest sushi restaurant? You'll only be able to get that feature in the United States, which is disappointing if you're not in the United States, but if you are, it's a really cool feature. Now before you take a second mortgage on your house, remember that this is an Apple product, and like all Apple products, it comes with a bundle of beautiful hidden surprises. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know how much of a big fan of iTunes I am. Well, I'm a particular fan with the iPhone 4S, because you see, I hate freedom. Choices in life? What a headache. I used to have two computers and I had to pick which one to get my files from. Oh, what a mess it was. Now with the iPhone 4S, Apple decided you can only have one computer to exchange your files from. So much better. I threw one of my computers in the garbage. Now my life is simple. Thank you, Apple, for taking away my freedoms. Now a lot of iPhone users rave about the iCloud. But unless you have Appleitis and you have 9,000 Apple devices in your house to sync your data across, it's completely useless. If you're smart like me, you have a Windows PC. And the only way to sync your music and your videos is through iTunes. Well, let me tell you a little story about iTunes. A few months ago, I was playing StarCraft II, having a great time. All of a sudden, my screen starts jumping around. I have no idea what's going on. Everything minimizes. I think my house is about to explode. Oh, it's iTunes. It wants an update, and it wants you to install like QuickTime and 9,000 other things. Like some whiny child demanding my immediate attention. Other programs don't demand attention like that when they need some sort of software update. Software update? How about software uninstall and keep my computer clean of Apple software? If you're one of the iPhone users that upgraded your iPhone 4 to the iPhone 4S, you'll be pleasantly surprised to find out that your battery life has actually decreased with this iteration. Another issue that's been plaguing the iPhone is that there's no real multitasking. This is the fifth iPhone! How many times are they going to have to try before they get it right? That's like the fifth strike. If we were playing baseball, Apple would be warming up the bench. In conclusion, I hate to say it, but the iTelephone 4S is not a bad device. That isn't to say you should get it though. There's some much better options out on the market. <coughs> the Galaxy Nexus. <laughs> Check out my review. That said, if somebody put a gun to your head and forced you to get an Apple device, I'd say get the iPhone 4S. But that's like saying if somebody forced you to get an STD, go with chlamydia. That's not a situation you want to be in in the first place. Now, if you want to watch me wreck some more apples, check out my other Apple reviews at thetechover.com.